Hi guys, this is Dr. Mike D and welcome to another series of our IGTV. And today, I'll be talking about comedonal acne. So basically, there are many types of acne and today I'll be focusing on a certain type of acne called comedonal acne. Comedonal acne is different in a sense that the patient would predominantly present with skin-colored bumps on the face, which we call open or closed comedones, or what we call whiteheads or blackheads. The patients with comedonal acne would usually present with facial skin like this, rather than this. So you see, comedonal acne is non-inflammatory, meaning it is not red, it is not inflamed, and it does not contain pus. However, comedonal acne can definitely progress into inflammatory acne. In fact, comedonal acne in adolescent women are very, very hard to treat, and they usually progress to inflammatory acne if left untreated. Comedonal acne are quite small and they're round in shape, while nodular cystic acne are larger, more tender, um, they are inflamed, fluid-filled, or pus-filled. So comedonal acne is very common in young adolescents. These comedones are usually found in areas of increased sebaceous activity and concentration, mainly the forehead, the nose, and the chin. As comedones develop very near the skin, they form tiny bumps that usually prevent us from having that clear, smooth skin. All the problem starts when uh, puberty sets in, where there is a surge of androgens that activate the sebaceous glands to cause excess oil to be produced within the hair follicles. When the follicular opening is completely blocked, it causes sebum trapping and results to close comedones or what we call whiteheads. However, sometimes sebum accumulation dilates the opening of the hair follicles and causing pigment and debris accumulation on the skin, forming the dark dots on the skin which appear as the black um, open comedones or the blackheads. So as the sebum settles on the surface of the hair follicles, it is exposed to the air and eventually oxidized. This gives the um, open comedones its dark brown or black appearance. Comedones can also come in different si sizes. You have microcomedones, you have macrocomedones, and there is also such a thing as a giant comedone such as this one. There are comedones that are caused by sun damage and usually form in older adults, primarily appearing on the cheeks and are called um, solar comedones or favorocosho. So you see the proper skin care and sun exposure precaution is very important if you want to prevent solar comedones or favorocosho. There are other factors that contribute to formation of comedonal acne. So number one, um, you have skin irritation from oils and comedogenic um, cosmeceuticals and skin care. Number two, um, occlusion from face masks and helmets and also some violinists would uh, experience this because uh, the violin is habitually put on the surface of your skin so you would see in those areas they have um, comedones as well um, also your diet is a factor if you consume a lot of dairy and sugar these um, kinds of diets are really proven to cause um, comedones and acne um, also people who smoke are at increased risk for formation of comedonal acne because um, in my experience they would usually present with hypertrophic skin so if you have hypertrophic skin, so you increase your chances of plugging, plugging, plugging the hair follicles and this will in turn result to comedone formation in the long run. And also um, manipulation or habitual manipulation or popping your comedones can lead to aggravation of your comedonal acne and transform into inflammatory acne or worse it can produce scarring because of the trauma so a lot of well, the manipulation can actually push some comedones deeper down into the hair follicles and cause more 
um, plugging and cause more sebum trapping and eventually it becomes a perfect situation for, for inflammatory acne to form. For the treatment of comedonal acne, remember that irritation can actually cause the comedonal acne to transform into inflammatory acne. So proper skin care is the key. So what I usually just suggest to my patients, number one, um, wash your face very, very gently like a baby with uh, using um, cool water fresh from the faucet. Avoid warm or cold, extremely cold water. In the morning, you can use an active skincare containing at least a BHA or a alpha hydroxy acid or an organic acid. But please consult your board certified dermatologist regarding um, what kind of acid or what kind of skincare active will be good for you and will be good for your the sensitivity profile of your skin. So these kinds of active um, ingredients actually contribute to the comedolysis or meaning the breakdown of the comedones. They also um, em encourage um, cellular turnover and they also prevent uh, plugging of the pores. So they actually address the different uh, cellular mechanisms that lead to comedone formation. So they're very, very good. So these skin actives are very good because at the very least, they can break down the skin plug and the comedones and at the same time encourage increased cellular turnover of your skin cells preventing the formation of, of uh, comedones in the future and also you must remember that they are acids and you can get some side effects from them so it's very important to collaborate with your board certified dermatologist so that you know how to properly use these skin actives and benefit from them and maximize your skincare. After using your, your active acid, um, you might be dry in some areas of your skin. And there are patients who come in, and I've seen patients with combination skin type of, as well, meaning they have, uh, they're, they're oily on some parts of the skin or some parts of the face, and then they're dry on some parts of the face. And these dry areas are actually aggravated when they start using um, acids on their face. So in order for you uh, to be able to recover fast from, from potential acid irritation, from more dryness, a bland, sun, uh, a bland moisturizer is very important. So what I tell my patients, if they're dry on several areas, they focus the moisturizer, tap gently the moisturizer on those dry areas. We can't have like a blanket policy over um, moisturizers and tell that uh, oily skin does not need moisturizer because um, there are people who are who does not fit the profile of completely um, having an having a completely oily face some patients will present in combination skin type so we must address uh, their skin type with a proper skin care also i like to give my patients a physical sunscreen because um, for me the sun can actually, I, I discussed to you how the sun can actually cause um, comedone formation, right? So that's number one, it protects you from the sun. And number two, I like physical sunscreen because they contain um, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And these are known to be um, anti-inflammatories. Because when, for example, when I, when I put acids on my face in the morning, some parts of my face will be red, right? Well, my patients will also tell me this. But because of the anti-inflammatory um, effect of titanium dioxide and zinc oxide, after applying the sunscreen on the face, the redness would usually disappear within 15 to 20 minutes. So um, I like the sunscreen because number one, it protects you from the sun. And number two, it also uh, serves as a anti-inflammatory for your skin. So the most important thing to look for a sunscreen is number one, it's broad spectrum. Um, it's also SPF uh, 30 and above. Um, it can block UV radiation, infrared radiation, and visible light radiation. It's non-comedogenic and it's a physical sunscreen. And remember those ingredients that I mentioned earlier. So lastly, at, at night, I give my patients a retinoid. So the retinoids can come in the form of retinoic acid or tretinoin. 
Um, it can be um, a milder form of retinoid known as retinol, it can be retinol. It depends on the sensitivity of your skin and which kind of uh, retinoid you can tolerate. But the objective is to be able to use retinoids regularly every day. Okay? So I will be discussing the kinds of retinoids um, in future IGTV series. So stay tuned for that. So just to recap, so you need to wash your face with a bland, um, with a bland or mild soap um, two times a day. You can use an active acid in the morning, number three. If you think you are dry in some parts of your face, you can use a moisturizer. Use a, physical, a nice physical sunscreen. And at night, just wash your face and use a very nice retinoid that suits your skin every day. Okay? So you will need to maintain this regimen for three months for the topicals to take effect. In the occasion that the comedone acne does not respond to treatment, physical treatment such as comedone extraction is undertaken. However, comedone extraction should be administered by a trained individual using the right tools to prevent scarring and prevent exacerbation to a worst kind of acne. So thank you everyone for watching our IGTV series today. And if you have any questions or any suggestions, please um, leave us a comment or message us if you have any questions regarding this video and we would love to assist you on that. Alright, so until next time, I will see you in the online clinic. Bye!